Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. We just got season two of MLB The Show 24. It's like a brand new launch of the game, man. I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way to get through this thing because we earned over two million XP in season one and it's easier to get it now. So I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way, but first do me a favor, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe down below to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's always our mantra. Join me for the live streams, man. We'll be live here tomorrow, right here on YouTube. We're always live on on YouTube, 10 a.m. Central, you can catch me, man. We'll be playing through a bit of Team Affinity and playing through the new season, opening a bunch of packs, all that good stuff, man, checking out all these new cards. So you guys make sure to join me for that. Let's go ahead and hop in here and talk about it real quick. Season two, but real quick, right first, man, you guys make sure to check out Father's Day is coming and Ridge Wallet, Ridge Wallet here has got a great deal for you guys. If you're looking for that great deal for your father, maybe for yourself even, uh, or even for your grandfather or something for Father's Day, uh, make sure to check out the little uh, shopping bag down here in the bottom left corner uh, of the screen and click on that link, man. You can get up to 30% off on Ridge wallets right now. Help support on the channel as well. And a great gift for Father's Day, man. Uh, maybe some of the older people that you might be buying for, your grandfathers, your your dads possibly. Uh, maybe they're not used to like this. They're used to a, tri a typical kind of wallet. But you're going to get the money clip, you know, which is kind of old school style with them. It's a nice, safer way to keep all of their stuff kind of safe and, and uh, secure uh, than a wallet would be nowadays. So I'm trying to help them out for Father's Day. And uh, it's a great, great gift, man. Something that I really like. But let's hop into this program real quick. Let's check it out, man. We're going to see what we've got here. Uh, season 2 reward path is obviously going to be just as long as the other one was <clears throat> it's going to go all the way up here to the wheel at the very end a lot of people ask about the wheel at the very end how do you get to the wheel spins you got to finish the program and then every 30,000 xp that's when you'll get the wheel spins here at the very end we're trying to get to these three bosses you guys saw them on the thumbnail we got chipper jones we got king griffey jr and we've got roy halliday as our three bosses here for it but how's the fastest way to do it because down here below there's really not anything showing you below Here's what you got to do, man. And, and this is what I did to get the 2 million XP through the process of playing through the other one, all right? All of the other things that are in the game, you've got to tackle them. You've got to get through everything that's in the game. So when you go to your programs, check out your other programs. You just got a bunch of other programs that came out here today, or at least one, I guess, just one for right now. There'll be all of these that'll come out throughout the process, right? We had all of these in season one. You're going to get these all through season two. As you get these programs, make sure to look because you'll get chunks of XP throughout them. At the very end of this one, there's 4,000 XP to earn. There'll be more added as we get throughout this, even including up to like this Lou Gehrig program we got the other day that I think gave you quite a bit. It's only going to give you a thousand now if you saved it at these points, but it actually gave you 80,000 XP the other day for season one if you completed it in there. So make sure to check out these other programs because there's going to be tons of ways to be able to get lots of XP. Now, where else can you find these other XP little chunks at? If you go into your multiplayer modes and go into ranked, Look at your ranked program, and you can complete this either by doing co-op or by doing uh, uh, just playing solo as well. Uh, every little process you get to is going to give you nice chunks of XP. 2,000 here, 1,500 here, 2,500 here. Uh, as you get down to the end, it's probably going to be a big chunk at the end. 20,000 down here once you get to the 100 points. So it's worth playing through these programs. BR and the Battle Royale program. We go look at that one. You've got stubs that you'll earn here, but you're going to get XP chunks here. 3,000, 3,000. 3,000, another 3,000, 5,000 up here. Then you're getting to fives. Let's see if we get up to tens, maybe sevens. 7,000 here at the end is what it's going to be, 8,500. Uh, and then down here is just going to be stubs at the very end. So if you want to stop after you get to the XP, you can. <coughs> Excuse me, but that'll get you a nice big chunk and head start in this. So get to work on these things. Uh, also, events. Events is another great place that it's going to have it for you. I guess that was for my last event run that we did right there. But when you go look at your rewards and events, they're going to have XP part for you or, or little chunks to get in parts for you as well. 7,500 right here, 7,500 again, another one, another one, another one. So that's where you're going to find all of this XP. Also, don't forget about your conquest maps. Lots of conquest maps going to have bonus XP spread throughout them. Uh, we did get the three conquest maps back for uh, the start of season two and team affinity again. So uh, don't forget about that. We've got uh, three, one for each of the sets of divisions for you to tackle. There's also a dragonfly one in here that's new right now you can tackle for yourself as well. So lots of chunks of XP to earn throughout the process of those, as well as mini seasons. Mini seasons has reset. You can earn all your XP, at least again in there, one, one playthrough and one go through in there. So lots of places to go get XP. Now, after you've got all of that stuff done and you're still looking to get more and extra XP, 
XP earned for yourself in the program. Go download one of our created stadiums or anybody's created stadium that you want. Make sure you've got the small walls. We've got videos here on the channel about some of ours though, so check them out. Um, we got Towers of Power is one of our great ones to download and check out. You guys can download those though and play play versus CPU games, or you can use them in any other game modes that you want as well uh, for XP. And uh, you can grind those, man. You can score 50 to 100 runs per game when you play a 90 game, maybe on rookie or whatever difficulty you do best on. Playing against the CPU, take your God Squad, work on parallels, work on all those things, work on program process with it uh, or progress with it. Uh, and you'll get tons of XP playing at those, especially with double XP going on. So take advantage of double XP weekends. Take advantage of all of your programs. Take advantage of everything in the game that you can get all the little bonus chunks of XP. That's how you'll end up with over 2 million here at the end of the season. I hope this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications on and we'll catch you here on the live streams this weekend. 10 a.m. Central right here on YouTube. Thanks, y'all. Peace.